So guys, Amir Khan says that he's been inspired by Tyson Fury. He's been inspired uh, by what Tyson Fury's gone on to achieve, Ty the way Tyson Fury's come back uh, from mental health, depression. Uh, Amir Khan spoke about his life, how he went through a depression period. You know, obviously we know his, his spat with his wife and his family were all public. It was all out there. And he went through a lot of depression. And I think, the thing is with Amir Khan, no one in the boxing world now takes Amir Khan that seriously like they once did. And when I mean, what I mean by that is obviously they know he's a good fighter, he's achieved good things. But right now as a boxer, people don't really look at Amir Khan or he's a top fighter. They just look at him, he was once a good fighter. But they now look at him as a has-been. And Amir Khan has an opportunity, especially if he takes a Crawford fight, to really get his name back on top. I don't think he, I don't think by taking the Brook fight, if he beats Brook, he'll get his name back on the top because people look at Brook now as a as a finished article as well, especially after his performance on the weekend. And I think what he means is that he's inspired. He wants to go and shock the world because Tyson Fury came back and no one gave him a chance against Wilder, and he came back and put in a great performance. And let's be honest, most people thought he won. And Amir Khan's situation with Terence Crawford would be exactly the same. Nobody would give um, uh, Khan a chance. And it, and I actually think, even even if he loses, uh, I, although I, d I don't think I, I'm looking at it like this, and I, I do think that it's about it's going to be time where Amir Khan has to j step up and beat the top, top guy if he wants to really carve out a serious legacy for himself. I think he's, he's, he's stylistically got a great chance against Crawford as well. He's going to have to win that fight. I know people are going to have him as a massive underdog, but I think Amir Khan needs to win that fight. And I think he's capable of winning that fight. And I think he's probably taking inspiration from Tyson Fury because he, what he think, looks at it is, I'm about the same age as Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury came back from an even darker place than what I did and he's ended up really should be WBC world champion against a formidable, one of the most dangerous guys, the dangerous guy on the planet in Wilder. Uh, I think... Terence Crawford is obviously a, a different to Wilder. He's more skillful. He's more technically sound. He's just uh, pound for pound the best fighter in the world. So actually, Amir Khan's fight, if he can beat Crawford, would be a lot more impressive uh, because not many people are giving Amir Khan a chance. But like I said, I think styles make fights. And I think stylistically, Amir Khan has a very good chance against Terence Crawford. I actually, I actually wouldn't be surprised if Amir Khan beats Terence Crawford, especially if Amir Khan turns up. I know most people won't give him a chance, but again, most people are just going on, oh, Terence Crawford is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. There's no way Khan beats him, but styles make fights. Don't ever... Look at it, oh, A beat B, so that means A will, and B beat C, so that means A will beat C. It doesn't work like that. Boxing doesn't work like that. Boxing's about how styles clash. And I think stylistically, I think Amir Khan could be a problem for Terence Crawford, especially if, if Amir Khan's motivated, which he will be against Terence Crawford, and he comes up sharp. I do think Terence Crawford might, might have a lot, of, a lot of problems because I don't think his style matches up well against Amir Khan. But that's my take on it. Uh, what do you guys make of Amir Khan saying that he's been inspired by Tyson Fury? Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.